think he's important. Yeah. 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 Meanwhile, former Fico Chairman Jeremy Edmund is personally yeah, handing up the submission of the report. He said he gave the ministers his account of events almost immediately <coughs> and recalled Minister Hawaii's application oh, on the central bank on August 27th that it was as courteous to be so tardy in providing its account. Let me shut down. Quite
What someone can maybe do is mm -hmm. seeing that how you understand I'm getting to that pool. Right, nice. Alright. Right. 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 Acting Patsy Joseph, head of the Southwestern Division of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. I would like to commend the officers of the Southwestern Division Task Force, our Intel team, and our CID in retrieving these seven firearms from reaching the streets of Trinidad and Tobago. As we all know, all uh, violent most of the violent activity happens involves the use of a firearm. And it is the, our initiative, the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service Initiative, to remove as many of the firearms in this country from the streets. In this regard, uh, Sergeant Joachim and his team would have acted on some information and uh, carried out extensive surveillance, intercepted a vehicle with these firearms and arrested the two people in the vehicle. I want to commend them sincerely on behalf of the hierarchy of the police service on my own behalf and the rest of the team in Southwestern Division. In Santa Flora, uh, Beach Road. So we believe that these firearms may have come through the borders down there. In this regard, I hope that um, some more attention will be placed on securing our borders, especially in the Cedrus and Erin areas of Southwestern Division to prevent uh, items like these from coming on shore. I cannot say, uh, but I know that inquiries are continuing, and um, but at this point we have no information that would give credence to that statement. Can you tell us how many persons were arrested? Two people were arrested in connection with this seizure. Are they from Palestine? They are from the southwestern peninsula area. Forty-three. They are in the in their forties, and um, they are employed. So, do you want to come in here, ma'am? 
Of course, I have commended our officers and I will continue to commend them both personally and in public for this good work and I want to urge them to continue in this vein to make sure that we keep taking any illegal firearm in our country off the street and in particular the Southwestern Division. Do you know for the year how many you all have been off the street? Five zero. Five zero to date. Fifty to date in the Southwestern Division. And we continue to encourage removal of illegal firearms from our streets. The firearms that we found, some of them look like they were used. Well, that will be a matter for the, the testers. When um, they are submitted for forensic examination, uh, those, that information will come back as part of the report. What would you want to tell those who insist or intend bringing in more guns and ammunition? I want to urge uh, our citizens that Trinidad and Tobago is a paradise and we need to keep it in that pristine condition. Having firearms, especially illegal firearms, on our streets would not assist us in keeping it as safe as we can. I want to urge them to desist from trying to bring illegal firearms into this country and onto the streets. The life that it takes may be your own. You all are welcome. I am Cecil Santana, Acting Assistant Commissioner South. I want to take this opportunity on behalf of the Commissioner, the Executive, and on my, on my own behalf to commend uh, Senior Superintendent Joseph and all the officers under her command at the, the Southwestern Division for, the, for this discovery of this catch of, of firearm and ammunition. I urge them to continue their hard work and I hope that we will have more successes like this. Again, I, I want to urge the citizens of the country, of Trinidad and Tobago, to continue assisting us, the, the TTPS, in every way they can, because we really do need them to provide us with the information that can bring about successes like this. Thank you very much. Well, as, as the senior super have uh, indicated, we, 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 we are advising, advising the, 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 the persons who are responsible for bringing these weapons into the country to desist from doing so because as, as um, the senior people have said the life that may be, be, may be taken by these firearms could be their own or people close, very close to them. So we urge them to discontinue this practice so that we'll keep Trinidad and Tobago safe. Thank you very much. What is it in the car? What is it in the car? A car. A car or a car? A car. Comfort. Yeah, sure. No, no, no. 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 No, so, the one. Yeah, one. Three, two, six, one. 
Oh, really? From, from my doctor, and then go to a friend that he was in. So, what time did you get this happen? What time did you get what, what time did this happen? Like, what time? Five o'clock. So, in the morning, evening? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, it was our sister. All I had, our sister. Yeah, like, so, from say 6, 6 p.m. morning. What happened? Well, probably the information that we had to the key would have come in a couple of days prior. Give me my powers, yeah, yeah. Drink me rum and share with others. 